so I can go ahead and run my tests. Load. Grab that for instance and just run it. Boom. And let's watch it work. It's creating 100 pages right now, but it will not upload them because I did not check that checkbox. So they're all made and they're all sitting right in here. It's the target route. That's where it's going to go. I put a shortcut to that on my desktop. And so there it is. It's the date time stamped folder for the run I just did and it matches the time I have right now. So if I go in there, there it is. There's my entire website. There's my main page, the index page. And when I said my entire website and I shouldn't, I should say my entire project run because it's all going to go inside that project. Okay, but I can take a look at how these look. I can look at the index page and that looks right. That's all good. So now I can take a look at more. I can go into one of these and take a look at one of those. Just make sure that looks good too. And it does. See how it's filling in with the keywords in the menu. This is why we did this kind of thing. Okay. And if you look at the URLs it's showing you at the bottom, you'll see it's for building-websites-now.com the way it's supposed to be, slash building-websites-slash-how-to-do-a-website. Okay. All that stuff is in there. Now, the only thing is that if I click it, of course, it's not found. I have not uploaded these to my website. Right down here, see where it says business SEO? There's my backlink. I created the whole page so that it talks about business SEO. It says business SEO right there. Business SEO. Why choose business SEO? Business SEO. Why choose business SEO? All this stuff. What is this business SEO website educating you on? How does business SEO perform for residents in Walnut, California, and so on and so forth? That makes this page a huge quality score match. I mean, it's here even. Private business SEO, it's in everything, okay? And um, how does business SEO work? It's all here. It says business SEO here on the alt tag. You can see it physically in the wording right there. And the point is, we don't care if people ever see this page. We do not expect them to. But we do expect Google to index them because they have a right to be up. And they do. It doesn't need to sell anything in particular. And if Google indexes it, it could be an article. It could be just a point. It could be an overview. It could be anything. And for Google, it's fine as long as it's readable, as long as the links work. All the links work, and they will. That's the way the project's set up. And the backlink will work, too. And so this, if I click on it, business SEO, that's a vote from my website to show up if somebody searches for business SEO in Google. The whole match is that business SEO. I want to be right there, number one or number two, number three, somewhere right up in here anyway. The best way in the world to do that, to get moji-crew.com to show up there, is to have a whole lot of pages with a link like this that says the words I need, the words I'm trying to get seen for. That's the whole point of creating this huge website with all these pages on it, backlinking me for the keywords I want. That's the whole point. And even though the page rank score on this page is going to be very, very low, if Google indexes it, and it will index anywhere from 85% to 95% or 100% of the pages you generate using this process, then that's a lot of pages that say business SEO and point at me. That Those are all votes, and the even though the page rank score is low for the page, the quality score, the authority that this page has to rank me some other website for this is way high. I'm saying this is a page all about business SEO and if you want to keep reading about more stuff about business SEO on this other website click here and Google sees that it makes sense because it already knows that this website's about business SEO it gave me that list of keywords I'm using to backlink myself. Why am I not showing up here now? I don't have hardly any backlinks for this but I can build it up and build it up and finally get there. That's the whole routine of getting yourself up on these keywords you're after one run at a time. So anyway, they look good. So guess what I'm going to do? The other ones are going to look good too. 
I can I can go ahead and start turning on FTP for these things. Do you see? And change the file count to a thousand each. So I can go a thousand, upload, save. Then I can go to the next one. Boom. And if I want, I can just run it out right now and make sure it looks good. Again, it just takes a few moments and it depends on the speed of your computer, you know. But I clocked a hundred thousand web pages generated in 45 minutes on my computer. There's the next time date stamp. You can see because the time is higher. Okay. So it goes down as we go. Okay. Now, again, I can look at any one of these web pages, just make sure they look right. And they do. So I'm good with that. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to what now? Let me hit back. I'm done with that one. I'm, I want that all set up save so now I load the next one I just did the top two so I load this one and just run that out make sure it looks good and it will I'm sure I can go look just to make sure just choosing pages at random and going in aha this one does not have the supporting files uploaded right that's good for me to remember and now what about the next one load oh wait that's easy to fix though I just upload that supporting file so I'm gonna go with this anyway I know what I need to do for that now let me load the last one the Moji Pro sub okay and I'll bet you it's the same thing okay ha alright so here we go there's the last one just choose anything and make sure it looks good same thing. I need to upload those supporting files. Again, that's easy, right? I'll show you that real fast in case you forgot. I mean, it's a piece of cake. Okay. So, here we go. FTP. Connect. The Moji Pro was where? Right there. That's the one. And I did not upload that supporting file. I will have it in a jiffy. <laughs> and while that's going up, I'm going to go in here because I'm going to want to upload it in here right away next. So that'll be for both of those websites. See? Upload. And so it'll be up here in a handful more seconds, just jumping around as it gets it up. And as soon as it's up, we can even go back and look at our runs now, and you'll see that suddenly the pages look right, because all the files are up. Okay? So let's take a look again. Runs. Either one of them. Okay, it didn't look right, but now it does. Same thing with the last one. Just checking. It didn't look right, but now it does. And they're all good. Look at this. How to do a web page. Click on it. Guess where it points? Moji Crew. That's the idea. I am done with that. So now all I had to do was make sure to set them to upload now, right? and I can upload my pages physically that way. So let me just load. Boom. Set for a thousand and upload. So let me load the next one. Thousand and upload. Don't need to save anything if you don't make any changes. Thousand and upload. Last one. Thousand and upload. All right, that's good. And I could create it for even the Moji samples too. It's all ready, so I can do that too thousand and upload. And I already know that one will work because that one of course has the supporting files uploaded to it. All that's done. So that's literally five websites. I'm in, And so if I just run them all out, then I will actually create 5,000 backlinks. Isn't that nuts? And then there's a quicker and easier way to run them all out. Now that I'm done with these, I may as well delete them but now I set these things to actually run the pages up and that's cool so then the next thing I want to do is show you the faster way instead of waiting for the profile to upload the pages we're gonna use the batch file uh, and it's quicker and that's good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and break this off and then we'll continue with the next